Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me today for the very first in a brand new series for Transport Fever 2. A particularly, well for me, unusual series for the game in that we're not doing a long session, a long season of Let's Play videos. It's going to be a relatively short series and very focused on a particular period in time. And that's going to be the very early 1800s. So you're thinking to yourself, the early 1800s, but the game doesn't start until 1850, so what the heck are you talking about? Well, it just so happens that very recently I heard from Steve M4, who you may well be quite familiar with, particularly if you play in a sort of British style, if you, if you play on a British map, British-oriented uh, environment, and particularly if you play uh, within the Steam era. Steve is one of our foremost train modders. He's done a few other things as well, but primarily trains and primarily in the Steam era. Uh, he has obviously done mods for, well, not necessarily obviously, but he has also done mods uh, outside of Steam uh, for some other iconic uh, trains within the sort of British environment. But he's recently started work on a new series of mods for the very early 1800s. Yeah, pre-Rocket, would you believe? Yeah. Now, we're going to be looking at these set of mods. They're not yet publicly available, so he's asked me how to, to have a look at them, uh, see if I can prove that they work. I'm sure they will. Uh, and also give you some insight into what's available for that period of our history. So, should we get right into it? First off, let's have a look at the mods we're talking about. So this is the mod set I've got for this particular game. It also includes a number of other sort of default uh, in-game mods, the deluxe, the early support, and the legacy vehicle mods. I also have enabled the sandbox mode here, which just gives me a little bit of extra control over the towns and industries, uh, just in case I need that to make sure the thing actually works and makes sense within the what I want to show off. But from mod 5 to mod 8 are what we're looking at here. Steve's mods, as you can see, are the beaters, the early rail series. Uh, the beginnings is a very early set of transportation options. It includes horse locomotives, if you can believe such a thing. Uh, we've got various types of wagons for carrying freight, including also some new track types and tunnel variant. We have three locomotives so far, Trevithix, the Killingworth, and the Puffing Billy. Now I should also say here, a quick heads up, that I know practically nothing about train history, trains, or railways. So any information I'm giving you will be coming directly from Steve, or perhaps from yourself. If you know anything about that, that part of our history, then please do feel free to comment on these videos uh, and correct me where I've got it wrong or have simply missed something out. So that would be very welcome indeed. The Rail 2 mod, uh, the Rocket mod, the before Rocket rather, uh, will include the Killingworth locomotive, apparently there's an 1820 version of that, uh, the Royal George and Victory. At the moment, that's the, the mod with the least options available in it at the moment. These are obviously being worked on as we speak. And finally, we have the Rocket Pack Early Rail number three. Uh, and we plan to, sorry, no, 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 I've, I've skipped ahead, I've skipped ahead. In that early rail number two uh, mod, we are planning, well, Steve is planning for us to have the locomotion, the Agenora, if I pronounce that incorrectly, which I probably have, in Victor, the Lancashire Witch, and Twin Sisters whatever they might be okay so that's what's planned for early rail number two before rocket now rocket pack early rail number three mod which is the most finished one so far we'll get to that in a future video uh, and that will include all the zero to two locomotives made for the lmr which i believe is the london midland railway in 1830 so we've got that to look forward to a proviso if you're interested in using any of these mods, you will also need to enable the early start mod from Doug Dawson, which will interrogate the mod you have installed for the game and then allow you to reset the start date of your game before 1850. 
if you don't have that mod in, the game will automatically start at 1850 or later. There is no option within the game itself to start before 1850. So those are the mods we've got enabled. My game is set to start in 1800 and I've simply created a small fictional map uh, with uh, primarily British names for our towns and I've tried to make some of the industries reachable within, uh, within these towns and also bearing in mind that these early vehicles travelled very slowly. So large distances are not good <laughs> if you're looking for profit in the game. I've not turned the money off, so I'm working with the economy still because that's how I like to play these games. So let's crack on, let's get into it. First off, we need to find somewhere to transport something which will make us money. But I think, seeing as we've got a really good complete industry chain here, this is where we'll start. So let's have a look at what we've got in the early rail number one mod from Steve M4. I'm going to start with a train station. And now these are some of the tracks that we've got. So we've got a high ballast track and presumably a lower balance ballast track here. Uh, the wooden wagon way from the early 1600s till the early 1800s. These are the first and most basic form of railway. Um, now we're going to be using horses to start with. So I'm going to assume high ballast is the track we'll want. We're going to need to start a train station. We don't get new train stations, but I've discovered you can mod your train station, so you can configure your train station to include those new rail types. I am using an entirely vanilla game. I'm not putting any of my other usual core mods into this. So we can just sort of focus on what Steve's provided us for the uh, early rail options. And let's spin that round because I want to go, that wants to go down there. So this will be the King's Oak, King's Oak oil well. We can figure that. Right, we do, yeah, we don't get the, the icons for these rails. It doesn't tell you the difference either, but I'm assuming this first one is the high ballast. So we're going to take out the standard track. There we go. There may be other mods which gives you which give you more infrastructure and more assets uh, for this period. Uh, I've not gone looking for them to be honest with you, uh, so I don't know if they exist or what they look like. So I want to focus primarily, as I said, on Steve's mods here. Uh, so we're going to need another station down here. This is going to be a two-way, a through station, I think. Yeah, we've got another oil well there, so we might bring oil in from there. So we're going to stick you down here. You're a through station. We're going to make you two platforms. The oil coming in, the crude coming in, and the refined going out. Over there. Which I like it a bit more like that, I think. And we, do, we don't get, unfortunately, much in terms of period, detail, or accuracy from the in-game assets. But there we go. Okay, we'll configure, uh, we'll rename this actually. So we'll both these, uh, these tracks to this high ballast. I'll show you the low ballast when we draw the track out so you can see that as well. I want to rename this Stony Bridge Refinery. So let's get some track drawn. We'll use the high ballast to start with. As you can see, yeah, the ballast is very much overlaying. Uh, I think they're called sleepers, aren't they? Yeah, you see, I do know something about trains and track. Uh, so we're going to draw that out. And you can see here, the speed limit is nine. And I think our horse-drawn road vehicles travel at something like 10, 12, 15, don't they? So this is quite a slow option. But I'm not going to worry about that. So that's the high ballast. We'll just put in a bit of low ballast for a moment, like that. So there, yeah, you can see the variation between those two types of track. Very wooden. Good looking model, actually. That looks cute. Good. Uh, we're get, I'm going to stick with the high ballast. Uh, I want a curve on there. Okay. And we'll come round into here. Okay, that's good. And finally, our fuel refinery. Here. 
I'll leave the road in place. So, I'll connect you. You're coming out there. Oh, I didn't change the track, did I? We'll do that in a second. There you go. And you can Century Falls Petro Plant. Yes, very, very 1800. <laughs> need to configure you to get rid of that terribly, terribly modern track. There we go. Lovely job. I might put uh, horse and car. I might put road vehicles for the fuel to go to Century Falls. Yeah, we might do that. So we want to put a depot in anyway. So... Like that, that's good, and like that. Oh, then remembering that my tracks here don't connect. So if we put something like that in, so we get onto that other track. So what vehicles do we have? So if we look at our locomotives, uh, they're not steam, electrical, diesel, so you'll need to select the, uh, the generic locomotive option here. And because we're before 1850, we don't have any vanilla vehicles. Sure, horror. Yes, we've stuck with horses. We've got a draft horse, which goes at seven. Uh, they, yes. Yeah, the description is pretty much the same for all. A uh, wagon way horses times two. Uh, now these, these all go at 15, apart from the draft horse, which goes at seven. But, costs more? Whoops. Yeah, okay, I'm not quite sure why it costs that much more for a draft horse. Ah, the power is that much better, that's why. Yeah, the power of these two horses. The two horses is two and four traffic, e tractor, tractor, tractive effort. And the draft is 3.7 and 5. That's quite a hefty horse, isn't it? But I want to go faster, I think. Okay, we'll try this. We, we got a times two. And the wagons for cargo. We have no passenger wagons at the moment. This is all industrial uh, environment, all industrial infrastructure, all industrial vehicles. So we've got the tramway wagons, often pulled by horses. Uh, it's part of the Trevithic pack. We don't have the Trevithic locomotive yet, so I'm going to leave that one behind. We've got the children wagon, and we've got a kind of gondola, we've got an all-cargo covered wagon, we've got a stake wagon, which can also carry liquids as well. Okay, and we've got another open wagon, again, which carries <clears throat> loose materials, as it were. Uh, I think, we're seeing as we're carrying liquids, we'll use the covered wagon. How many of these can we put on? Hmm... 20. Mediocre performance. I, we need another horse on that. Uh, so, should we put another one of you on, which gives us good performance, or the four? Oh, that looks like a much better bet, doesn't it, actually? Yeah, the, the, the four would be more expensive than two twos. But let's try that. So we'll put one of you on. That's, that's a good performance. Okay, I'm good with that. So, we'll buy you. And we need to put you on a line. It's going to be a new line. And it's going to come from there. To there. Set our full loads. And that's the job done. Should I give it a name? I should give it a name. So here they come. Lovely looking models. Uh, you'll notice that the driver looks a little bit grimy. 
that's a, obviously a standard model for the driver. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's obviously very dirty work hauling these vehicles. So that's that. We'll create a new a new train, as it were. We'll use the two. That's what if we can we have them without drivers? So we'll have two, two, two times two wagonway horses. We'll have the covered wagons. Okay, and we need a new line for that. This is going to be going from there to there. Once again, set up our loading and give it a name. The Stony Bridge Refined Bulk. That is lovely. So what does this one look like? Driverless. That's what he looks like. Ah, we've got a lot of oil there. Yeah, we're going to have to double track this. We'll have passing places or something, aren't we? Yeah, let's double track it, shall we? Oh, here they come. Good, good. No, don't merge. That's it. Splendid. Good. So we're going to need some signals. Ooh. And we do have a wagonway signal option. Oh, I need to uh, make sure the tracks merge at the other end. Don't I? Yeah, so they can cross over. So we can have one way working. That's good. And we'll have one way. And I'll put it on the game default of right-hand drive, which I know it's wrong, but you know, that's the way the game works. There we go. So that should, yeah, make the, uh, the line properly double-tracked. Put more of these signals on. switch and out again ah oh, nice nicely animated signals excellent cool now I'm going to trust that Steve knows how th this is all accurate uh, he is also the host of the Abandoned uh, YouTube channel, where he takes walks around his local area and uh, investigates, describes, and provides us context and, and actual historical interpretation of uh, the infrastructure that he can find uh, around there that's been abandoned and provides that sort of his historical insight. All very fascinating stuff. Go check it out. There'll be a link. To, there'll be a link to his workshop uh, page, and also to his channel uh, if you want to follow that. As I said, that the, uh, the mods are currently in beta at the moment, so they're not publicly available. But if you uh, follow Steve's workshop, then you'll get notified by Steam when they do become available. Oh, we're waiting on that. Uh, that wagon set coming up from there. Perhaps we should put some signals on this uh, on this switch here. Uh, they don't need to be one way. That's better. Good. So a nice amount of profit we got from that first delivery. But in the meantime, let's complete this industry chain and put in. Uh, I said I'll put road vehicles in. I think for for delivery to 
Century Falls. And that's going to be here. Right. So how are we going to do the streets around here? Yeah, I won't want it straight. They didn't do straight roads back in the 1800s, did they? No, absolutely not. From there, I think. Oops. There we go. And can we get a bit of road? Excellent. Coming out of there. Around the back. That looks good. Oop. The city's noticed. There you go. Uh, we only need a, a truck stop along here, so I'll just get that done. Will that do? I think so. And there you go. How are we doing for our crude oil delivery? We're not really keeping up. <laughs> 20 going down there. Oh, good. So we've actually got 40 in transit. Excellent work. So approaching the end of our first year and we are losing a fair amount of money yeah quite an amount of money I'm, I'm sure that'll turn around I mean they wouldn't have built these wagon ways would they if it wasn't profitable so I'm going to assume that we can do that here hmm I noticed this when I was preparing the video there can sometimes be a slight issue with the double tracking here where they seem to get too close together. It doesn't snap in quite the same way that the vanilla rails do. That looks okay. Maybe there's a bit of a yeah geographical thing that they need to, to get tighter there. That's what that is. So we'll follow our horsey in. Well actually it's come to the end of the year so let's see if there's any new vehicles coming up in 18... 02. Actually, actually, this is our second year, isn't it? No, we're still using the, the horses. Okay. Ah, and there is a horn. I don't know if you can hear that. There's a whistle and a neigh. Or a click and an A. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. That's a nice touch. I like that. There they go. Ooh, you're, you're making a fair amount of money, aren't you? Ooh. Oh, the whole line was very briefly in profit. But this vehicle... Oh, yeah. Obviously very cheap to run, these horses. Good. So we've got more locomotives to look forward to. So in the next video, we'll carry this on. And we will be seeing some actual steam locomotives appearing on our early rail map. But this, I think, will do for a very first introduction to Steve M4's new set of early rail mods, taking us from 1800 all the way into the 1830s, for those of us who like to take a very historical look how transport worked back in the day. So, if you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbsy uppy button. Even better, if you've got any thoughts about the mods. And if you have any information about uh, this period in time, about the, the use of wagon whales, wagon whales, wagon ways, uh, horses and freight and early steam locomotives, then please do comment in the little box below. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. 
And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, looking at some very early rail, bye-bye for now.